In this tutorial, you learn how to create this plate with a pattern of holes and screws. First, let's create a new sketch in the Part Design Workbench with this button. Then, click the plane you want to sketch on. Now make sure you select the Centered Rectangle tool by clicking the small arrow on the button. Click on the origin and drag the mouse. Start entering numbers to enter the horizontal dimension. Then press Tab and enter the vertical dimension. Press Enter to apply both dimensions. The sketch is finished, so you can click on Close to exit it. Select the Pad feature to thicken. Extrude the sketch you just made. Enter a distance of 5mm and click the OK button. The plate will be 5mm thick. Once we have a solid base, we can select a face and create a new sketch for hole placement. Click on this eye icon next to Pad to hide the plate while sketching. Then select the Circle tool and click on the origin. Drag the mouse and click again. Also draw two other circles on the horizontal axis the same way. Click right mouse button to exit the Circle tool. Select the two center points of the outer circles. Then select the vertical axis. Now, you can make the circle symmetrical over this axis with this constraint tool. Select the dimension tool here in the same toolbar. Click on the center point of an outer circle and drag the mouse. Click again and enter a dimension, then press Enter to apply. The sketch for the holes is finished now, so you can click on Close to exit it. Now, let's create a hole. After selecting our sketch, we go to the Hole tool. Here we can set parameters like diameter, depth, and whether we want a through hole or a blind hole. We go for the through hole. You can also choose countersink and counterbore options for a professional finish. We go for countersink in this video. Then enter the diameter of the countersunk hole here and click OK to apply. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. To make sure our hole fits standard screws or bolts, we'll use the fasteners workbench. This lets us add pre-made threaded fasteners and test our design. Select this edge of an outer hole, and then select the screw you need. It will automatically appear inside the selected hole. You can select the correct screw size and thread type, ensuring everything fits perfectly. Also set thread to true to model real thread. And that's it! We now have a properly designed hole with the right depth, diameter, and a matching fastener. Now go to the draft workbench for making a pattern of screws inside all holes. Select the screw and then select the array feature here. Enter three elements into the X direction along the plate. Set the others to one element to disable. Then enter an X offset of 25 millimeter the same as in the whole sketch with the circles. Leave the other settings as they are and click on OK to apply. And here you go. Here's a plate with three holes and fitting screws inside. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.